since since we are uh, you see our people smiling, so probably you can expect that uh, things are not that bad. <laughs> Members, please come closer. I mean, I I cannot say sorry because meeting went on; it just got over. But so we have to really uh, we had a third bear discussion. So uh, uh, I mean, uh, we'll come one by one. But I think uh, this discussion has been fruitful. It was long pending because we wanted a solution to all our pending or charter of demands. Uh, happy to say that I think this meeting has been successful. And why I say so? Probably. <laughs> Now, we were, without going into the detail, I'll come to the first point, which was the removal of this uh, person whom we have. We, I'm tired of taking his name now. So let's not take his name. Uh, uh, so, uh, since that person is out for last more than 15 days, his service is not required in Neho anymore. And VC will initiate necessary action to end the process and put a full stop. That is one. It was, it was a, a very clear that uh, nobody would be forced to do this duty. And very soon, uh, we are told that the advertisement for AR and DR is also going. So naturally, the moment you have AR, DR appointed, naturally, uh, their service anyway will not be uh, required. But there is no compulsion whatsoever for them to continue hampering <laughs> their academic activity, which means you are free to move out, concentrate on your teaching, research, whatever you want, if you feel that being in the administrative building is hampering us. But it is there, it is there. And some update is going on, which is perfectly okay, because uh, some ordinance are redundant, we all know. But the Nihu Act statutes are, are permanent, so there's no change there. But it is available and we confirm it's inside. The holding of regular convocation has also been addressed very seriously and we, we have impressed upon that there should be a calendar. It should be a gala event for the university, like we used to have earlier. For this time, indeed, he is waiting for the uh, President of India's uh, approval, which is neither received as uh, as except the, neither the consent was given, nor the rejection was given. So, naturally, when you have uh, written to the President of India, you have to wait for the response from the Office of the President of India. So, pending that acceptance or rejection or the consent from the uh, visitor's office, uh, that this year's convocation will depend on that. But we made it a point that for, for next time, because this, according to, of course, it also makes sense. This is the 50th year of our uh, foundation. So he said that we wanted the president of India, which is perfectly okay for this year. But we said it should not be uh, for all times to come, because if we can get some Nobel laureates, some really great academicians, or even governor, we should not postpone our convocation. It should be a calendar. And I think that has been agreed upon. Coming to the holding of the... Uh, Marking system, I think there is a committee uh, has been constituted. Uh, I think you all know that initially I was the chairman, but then there is a conflict of interest and I wrote that to the restaurant for me to be see that I cannot be chairman of the committee because we are heading this uh, JAG. So I cannot be chairman of JAG and also committee of, uh, chairman of that committee who is going to find solution. So we said that then it is left to the students to suggest a name of a chairman who will chair the committee and that committee's report of course will be put to academic council and then academic council will approve it in due course of time. Coming to the inclusion of elected members Nihusu in academic council, I think this of course we all know those who are in academic council and those who are, who are not, that this has to, it will require the ordinance, tweaking of ordinance a little bit on academic council composition because so far we have two students by merit. This, he in principle has agreed that it will be representation representation from the elected office bearers of Nihusu, let's say president and secretary. So instead of by going by merit of a student who doesn't know what association is taking up the issue, association representation will be there. So that will require, but for this time, for this time, what they have done is, they have said that a BCN agreed that they, they will be invited in the coming normal academic council. The students will be invited, which is, of course, as his prerogative, so that, you know, the issues can be taken up, but necessary change will be made. Of course, we had a discussion, but we also knew that there are more discussions is required. So, uh, so a committee has is being formed who will look into this matter, come up with suggestion, put it to academic council, and naturally it will be the wisdom of academic council to, to deliberate and approve whatever formula best suits the student community who really needs this help. And we all know that the backward area uh, representation is ideally for those places where literacy rate is really low in some village or some block. Uh, but of late, we all know that it has been misused you know, in a multiple of ways. So to avoid any misuse of this, so that the, really the benefit goes to those that deserve it, 
I think that committee will look into it and come bring it to the uh, uh, to, to the uh, uh, to the academic council for approval.